friends and family, chosen children of God, soul tribe, and all of the other monitoring spirits and wicked people watching the content that refuse to support by way of hitting that like button. Listen, we have to put an end to this crisis. Men need to be men. Women need to stop trying to be men. We need to stand up and use our voice to revolt against this sexualized world when we can and where we can. Our youth are being targeted. Sex is being weaponized. Men are becoming weak. Men don't know their roles anymore. Women don't know their roles anymore. Satan has a grip on this world. And faithful and righteous, devoted children of God are few and far between. Look. It's time that we delay gratification and overcome these strongholds and, and show some strength to the Lord. Men, get off the websites. Keep your eyes at eye level. Go do something useful. Transmute your energy. Get off the couch. And I know people are watching this like, yeah, coming from the guy that takes naps all day. Yeah, I've been there. I've been there. Look. Think of your children. It's, it's only getting worse. Okay, think of yourself. Be honest with yourself. Your mind is in the gutter. I'm speaking to those that, that aren't fully committed. You're lukewarm. You have one foot in and one foot out. You know of God, but you don't know Him the way that you should. And There's a reason. There, there are reasons. There are treasures gifted from God by that we can receive by obeying His word and, and His laws and not having lustful eyes and not having perverted hearts. I have a nephew and I'm, I'm pissed off. I'm pissed off at everything around all of us and everything around him and the youth that it, that that is influencing them more so than than what it's done for me. And God has saved me from perversion. And that has it like I mean This is tough to speak on, but man, I'm, I'm transparent and I want people to self-reflect and see what good can come out of having the inner strength to, to do what's right. Your life is in shambles because of the lust. Men. Woman took control, and they need leaders in their life. Righteous, strong, assertive men. 
Women are exhausted from having to do everything. And it's becoming normalized for the woman to be the leader of the household. Look. Haters will take this as misogynistic, but men have a place for the family, for, for the well-being of society, for the household, it should be God, man, woman, children. Woman can do things for the family that men can't do. Men can do things for the family that women can't do. But we've been stripped of our power and our powers and our far gone. It's like we men have become unaware of their capabilities. We have settled for far less. Men are not men anymore. Men can't look another man in the eye and have appropriate conversations that are meaningful to the world. Everyone has to one-up each other and everyone has to act like they know something and everyone has to put on a fake face and cherish money and power and, and looks but behind closed doors, they're pervs. And I'm just saying in general, and you can't even argue with me about this. Children are under attack more than us. It's sick what, what we have allowed for, for society to, to do to us. What every single medium has been infiltrated your music you you can't even go out in public without listening to freaking verbal pornography you can't even go into a restaurant you can't even go inside somewhere to pick up your DoorDash order without silly, sexualized, oh, perverted music. It's sickening. And I'm going around and I'm seeing these innocent children who aren't so innocent as they should be. And, and you can read, if, if you've overcome this type of thing, you can sense who's doing what and who's doing wrong. And it's, it's terribly sad, for one, to see all these men and young men and, and older gentlemen lack masculinity. But it's terribly sickening to see the, these children of these sickened and, and defiled families that are f following right in line. We, we need to be more strict and more righteous and lead the way in this chaotic world. God, where do I even begin? I, I mean... People are having kids with the wrong, with the wrong individuals. People are, people are selling their body online for money and it's causing inner turmoil. People are losing their income, paying for this nonsense. People are releasing their energy into the bed sheets while they're alone
Wake up. You can't blame women for what's going on either. It's, it's, look, temptation is more present than ever. We are in the end times. Everything's about sex. It is terribly aggravating and frightening for people that have potential. I guess I could have could have made some outline points on this cuz I'm just so scatterbrained on this topic. My mind is blown. I was I was addicted to the websites for a long time and glory to God. Glory to God for helping me out of that sick twisted rut okay and I, I'm, I'm not I'm ashamed of, of how weak I had been but I understand that I didn't have God I didn't have a relationship with God and, and, and it wasn't until I did where I felt the conviction and the conviction is a blessing so it's people like me that are speaking the word of God, that are bringing conviction to the people and being bold, the conviction will help you out of your your addictions, your 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 <laughs> the lost. <laughs> some some words are hard hard to hear and hard to say. For those that are weak minded. But yeah, the truth hurts. And it's it's God designed it in a way to where you can't appreciate like I could tell you all of the benefits that would come from retaining and, and being strong and overcoming your urges and transforming your brain to be strong but but you, you can't understand until you've experienced it <laughs> like God designed it in a way to where you have to do the work the chosen ones can't do the work for you. And and I'm aware, like, before, before I was living for God, the demons inside of me, like, I hated seeing people joyful. I envied people that were out in public proper and, and like, straight and laughing and engaging and having normal conversations with all genders. And now I'm walking in that life and you can't appreciate the good until you've overcame the bad is what I'm saying. So there's, there's like a wall in front of a lot of you that aren't saved, that are comfortable. And you're not going to reach that next level of blessings until you give it all to the Lord. And yeah. You, you might fail. But you get back up. Quitting things cold turkey. Is tough. And I would argue you can only quit things cold turkey for good. By submitting to the Lord. And walking in your purpose and seeking him in all your ways. We need to come together. Men and women are being driven apart. And nowadays it's more about looks 
and making others feel jealous than being our best selves. And being our best selves does not mean how much money can I make? How, how good can I look? How many body modifications can I get to attract others that I don't even... It's like, you go into the gym. I see this on social media. It doesn't, like, happen to me because I'm not a weirdo, but... Women dress all skimpy. And they want the attention. But when they get the attention, they feel uncomfortable. It's like, what are you doing? Women just want the, that validation from men but it doesn't have to come in the form of 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 sexual innuendos sex is to be enjoyed by those that are married for procreation and gentlemen if if you're still releasing your energy for any reason other than making a child, you are taking you're taking a lot of time off of your life, for one. But you are you're doing more to your brain and your inner feelings and, and causing emptiness than, than what you can imagine. If if you're seed is powerful enough to create a child what are you doing releasing it all the time and I know that there's temptation everywhere there's temptation for infinity in your pocket on your cell phone but instead of releasing your essence your life force essence Retain that. Let it spread throughout your body and to your brain and bring clarity and ideas and creativeness and, and uh, energy and, and stability. This goes for women too. There is... Karma does not miss. Karma does not miss. And all karma is, is God's wrath. It comes in any form that it shall. So let this be conviction for those that, that are still messing around. Okay? I, I believe in you. I want to inspire you. I want to share my testimony on this. Dude, I... You know what? Pornography and masturbation is more intense than any hard drug there is. And it lasts what? Your release lasts what? Five seconds? And then what follows after that? <laughs> Days of recovery? Imagine what would happen to your life if, if you had the strength. It, do you, you want a challenge? Start off by going a week without doing anything like that ungodly. Go a month. Three months, six months, a year. You can't imagine. Like, if if you're new to this, bro, you will take over the world. You would have the confidence to go get any job. <laughs> My situation kind of sucks, but 
I'm taking a different route. I'm becoming a minimalist and uh, seeking time that was stolen from me by Satan. I want freedom. I'm being transformed, but this is all part of it. I have all these uh, new and exciting interests that I never saw coming because for over a decade, I was a slave to my lust. And now I find joy in things that most people by far don't find joyful. Like I'm that guy that's going around and I can't hold in my laughter and I'm just, oh wow, the trees are freaking beautiful. Pets just melt my heart and, and people people become so attracted to your energy when you are retaining and it's just like this is a whole new life retention is a tool that will bring you closer to god if you haven't been reborn in the spirit i promise and listen retaining your seed is a prerequisite for being reborn in the spirit I'll say that again. Retaining your seed is a prerequisite for becoming reborn in the spirit. It's a fact. So don't play games with me and try to talk with me. Not that I'm being competitive about it. I'm just being truth. Like, I don't play and conversate with fake people like, if, if you're not doing what I'm doing, then you ought to be trying to gain some knowledge. And maybe that, maybe that sounds like I'm being egotistical, but okay. I call it confidence in who, who, I've, who I'm becoming and, and what I've been able to overcome, God willing. And I'll say it again, I, I, I've, I've been a dopamine addict to everything possible for years, for a decade. And, and now I'm, I'm becoming a masculine, assertive man. And, and all of these characteristics and traits are being added to me. And the people from my past don't like it. And it's, they're, they're only self reflecting. And like, I, nowadays, my presence is like a mirror to these people. They have to look at themselves and they see, they, they, people get insecure around those that are on their purpose, that are doing everything right, that are doing everything they can to be righteous. So, with that, I will say, you're going to develop enemies. Some of your friends will become your enemies because they won't like who you become with, with your retaining essence and transmuting your energy into healthy things because they will be insecure and they will try to down talk you to make themselves feel better. And they'll race to all your friends and they'll throw their flying monkeys at you. And you, people will gang up on you for, for doing what's right. And, and that just goes right back to this whole men and women problem. Because it's happening on the women's side as well. Women that dive all into self-improvement their old friends are like wanting to freaking hang them or are just off them and and team up with the whole group of friends and talk down on the one that's that's putting in the work like like what is going on but at the same time this is what the chosen people are are here for to be triumphant and everything i'm saying 
and for the women that are doing this, you realize that this is all prophetic. The Bible tells you exactly what's going on. You're like reading it and you're like, oh my God, this is the living book. Like it's telling me everything that's happening in my life. Like they'll, those are the, those people from my past are the people in the Bible that God's like telling, like warning me about, or like giving me reassurance that I'm on the right path. And so, <laughs> just be aware that that the world and social media and music and businesses and and uh, just everything around us in life is is used against us so it takes the one that rises above that is a free thinker that is always questioning everything in sight that will that will you know rise above the occasion okay it, it doesn't it doesn't happen overnight and with it comes war but that's that's what we sign up for when we become reborn now it's war now it's game time we're, we're fighting the spirit within others and, and we're stepping into this world with god's armor and people are trying to knock us off our path and bring guilt and shame and accusations and negativity everything that's not of god will come your way when you stand for god but it's amazing because your life becomes like a movie like like jesus like when you're becoming like jesus you become hated for doing what's right and you stand for something that you believe in you finally found what it is that 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 you're here for you know, I've, I've heard the two most important days of your life are the day you were born and the day you figured out why you were born. And for me, I didn't figure out why I was born until I was 26 years old. And it was when I started questioning like, Lord, why was I so on the uphill path, uphill trajectory? And now I'm being held down by all this negative people that want to like play games with me and narcissistic, just bad energy. And now I'm feeling like I'm way lesser than what I could be. Like, Lord, where did I go wrong? Like, you know, I finally hit rock bottom and there was a seed planted in me to finally reach out to God because I got so sick and tired of who I had become in in this world, you know? And in the snap of a finger, dude, I Jesus came to me. Like I verbally spoke out and it was a revelation. It, I I was reborn. I had tears of of joy and and just I, it was a feeling I had never felt in my life. And I knew right then and there, I'm like, I have nothing to lose but to live every moment of my life for Jesus, for God. So let me backtrack. Let me get rid of the cigarettes. Let me get rid of the nicotine. Let me get rid of the uh, pornography. Let me get rid of the uh, lust. Let me get rid of the, the Adderall. The tobacco, the negativity, the envy, the pride. Lord, help me. I can't do this alone. Let me get rid of it. I don't need this. I'm better. I want to I wanna be something. I want to do something with my life. <laughs> and one year later, I'm living in a van. <laughs> 
<laughs> but it's it's only the beginning. And I couldn't be happier. I wouldn't trade it for anything. <sighs> That's another thing. It's like you retain your seed and you become more childlike, but more masculine at the same time. And yeah, you, you have tears and you can finally let your emotions out and it's healing. They want you to think that a strong man holds back his tears. Well, no, tears have power. And you wouldn't experience that if you've been so cold-hearted and cut off from the world and cut off from your emotions and, and putting up this, face, this fake face and, and being subject to what the world wants you to think. Jesus, Jesus fills your heart. And, and he strengthens you. And he prepares you for all the battles that are, that are on the way. <clears throat> before retaining and, and before being strengthened in Christ, I wouldn't be able to defend myself against my family who has become my biggest haters. So God has been preparing me day by day by day. There would be no there would be no way on earth that I could be 1800 miles away from home all alone trying to do life with God and myself in isolation. There would be no way I'd be able to do that if it wasn't for retaining my seed and and working on my my overcoming my addictions. <clears throat> and God has been there every step of the way. And <laughs> even when I go through these trials with this stupid van, <laughs> I know that it's it's just a learning lesson and It's just about being patient. I fully believe in the word and all things will be added to me, but I, I've never been this broke in my life. And I've never been in an area with so many homeless, demonic people. And it scares me, dude. Because if I messed up once, I would be right along with them. <laughs> but this is, <laughs> this is what I asked for. I said, God, take it all away. Let me restart. Give me a fresh start. Let me build up. Let me build up my own life. Let, let me have my own, you know, in regards to like parents and, and just other toxic people that want to have control over you. You know, you're you're a grown woman. You're a grown man. You're 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 a grown individual. <laughs> and I asked for this. So I I get emotional, but I'm like, yeah, God, I'm human. I know. <laughs> I just this this sucks, but I I wanted for it to suck because I knew that if it didn't suck, I wouldn't learn. I wouldn't become the man I need to be. I love where I am. I love this adventure. I don't feel alone at all. 
That's that's the biggest misconception that that outsiders have. They're concerned for my well-being. <laughs> like, no, I'm concerned for your well-being. And we'll 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 leave it at that, you know. All right, y'all. Oh, it's been a doozy. I guess I'll say, <laughs> I'll fill you in. Today, my van went up in smoke. I, I got it, like, fixed a few days ago. Well, no, I didn't get it fixed. It just started working again. And, uh... shout out to a relative of mine for telling me to to do DoorDash and I'm like yeah cool DoorDash sweet and uh and I'm loving it by the way but I took this 2006 Ford Ecoline cargo van all over the place for the past in 14 hours I made over 200 bucks with the freedom of my own schedule so that's cool but putting this van through hell and <laughs> i come to a stoplight like a few hours ago and the thing's smoking and i'm like whoa lord help me lord don't let me blow up don't let me and my kitties explode like man you know and <laughs> i just I broke down again and like literally I broke down but I, I broke down as well and now I'm at uh, Brake Masters in Albuquerque and I will I, I, my my home on wheels had become my my job and now <laughs> now I have to finance like brake calipers and whatever else this van's going to need so that I can make some good money. But hallelujah for me even getting it here, like 10 blocks from where I broke down, I had to wait like four hours for it to cool off. To, I tried starting it 10 different times. <sighs> and I got it here. And uh, today is Saturday. I have to wait through Sunday. I have to wait till Monday at 1030 in the morning. To have them pull this van into their thing. And I'm going to be like, yeah, I'm... I'm a child of God and I'm doing everything right that I can. So this is just signs that he's putting me through the storm. So would you help me to like get this thing fixed so that I can go deliver DoorDash and Grubhub and Uber Eats so that I can pay you guys, which I'm actually really super excited to do. I just want my van to be fixed and to not be stressing about it. Like I'm fine with living in this thing. My cats are cool. My cats go flying all over the place when I... <laughs> oh. All right, y'all. It's been a good talk. It was a slow start. But if you made it this far, I think we should be friends. So, subscribe. But... But that's it. <laughs> I mean, you can like and comment, too. But I'm in isolation season. And I like to tune into this YouTube craft um, as, as another outlet. And who knows, maybe someday it, it can come another stream of income. But it won't happen without your guys' support. Um, so anyways, like, comment, share, subscribe. Um... 
Venmo me if you'd like. That would be awesome. And yeah, I will leave all that information in the bio or the whatever you call it. Oh, have yourself a blessed day. Keep your Peter in your pants. Hey, and here's a good one. Ready for the mic drop? God gave us men a penis and a brain, but only enough blood to work one at a time. All right, y'all. Deuces.